to tell him off? She already has. Yes, but I missed it. He slept with Donna and she's only 15. You can't have finished with him yet. Imagine if I would have slept with a bloke. I would not hear the end of it. Holly, I think it's time you went to school. It's because he's a boy, isn't it? It's all right for him to go around sleeping with everyone. In fact, you're probably quite chuffed. Holly, if you like, I will sit you down later and we'll have a long chat about boys and girls and sex, OK? <laughs> you're joking, aren't you? Bye. I'm sorry I lost it with you yesterday. I realise it wasn't very helpful. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I got you in trouble with Viv. I can deal with her. Where did you get to last night? Just went to Bev's for a little chat. Right. Didn't think you knew that one. I don't. Just a little chat. She wasn't even that helpful. You know you can talk to me, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know. So what are you going to do next? <sighs> talk to Donna. Know what you're going to say? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Toast, love? Tea? How long are you going to give me the silent treatment? I have apologised for losing my temper. You haven't. Am I? Oh, all right, then. Well, I'm apologising now. Sorry. OK. I'm not a kid anymore. Yes, I know. And from now on, I shall treat you like a... like a... A young adult, but I do need you to talk to me about things like this before they happen and not keep secrets from me. Well, it's difficult when you've got such a short fuse all the time. Well, I'll change. I will have some tea. There you go. Glad we're friends again. So I just have to tell you what I'm going to do. Yes, well, that's how it works in a mature relationship. I'm going to keep seeing Mark. No, you're not. Uh, so treat me like a young adult lasted, what, five seconds? Well, you're more young than adult, and I was assuming that you'd get shot of him. Well, you assumed wrong. I told you yesterday, we love each other. Oh, Donna, you're too young to go to bed with him, and quite frankly, you're too young to be in love either. I don't believe you. Where are you going? School, and I've got news for you, Mum. I'm going to keep seeing Mark, and you can't stop me. See you later. Bye, Dad. Hold on. Do these belong to either of you? Yeah, they're mine. Hey, what's up with you? It's my football kit, I just forgot it. I'm in a rush. No, you're not. Just don't go for ten minutes. Are you all right, Andy? Yeah, fine. You sure? We're going to be late, come on. Come on, up you go. I wonder if we should have a sort of state of the nation discussion. Which nation? I mean, our relationship. Since what happened... Don't be coy, Ashley. I can cope with hearing the word miscarriage. This is what I mean. I was going to say that since the miscarriage, we seem to have become a bit distant. I'm not sure what you can or can't cope with. I'm not sure what you're thinking or, or, or feeling. Neither am I. We should try and communicate a little better. For instance, I don't think I deserve this harshness I'm hearing from you. Sorry, I don't mean to sound harsh. You're right, you don't deserve it. My lover just wants us to be happy. Yes, I know, Ash. That's what I want to. Please try not to be impatient with me. I'm doing my best. Of course you are. If you were out and about doing things, you wouldn't feel restricted, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I thought I might have a run later. I feel the need of some exercise. Yes, you do that. You don't mind? Of course not. Good, good. I'm glad we've been able to talk a little. So am I. What's up with you? I'm going to make loads of money at school today. You what? What are you two going on about? Do you smoke, Ollie? No, you know I don't. Oh. How are you doing, Donna? Oh, my mum's insane. Yeah, well, nothing new there, then. <laughs> you ever thought about smoking, Donna? Donna, I thought I'd catch you before the bus came. I'm glad you did. Yeah, me too. Do you smoke, Mark? Will you shut up, Andy? I'm sorry about what happened. We should just ignore my mum. Yeah, and your brother. What? He had a go at me yesterday. 
What a jerk! He's a jerk and my mum's mad, but we can't stop us seeing each other. I'm sorry, Donna. I don't need this. We're finished. No, we're not. Donna, I mean it. I can't deal with your family hating me. It's too much. Besides, I, I don't think you're ready for this kind of relationship. You what? Bev said you were upset in school yesterday. Bev? You mean Miss Mansfield? When did you talk to her? Last night. You were talking about me and you to my teacher. And I bet it was her who said I wasn't ready for this. It was, wasn't it? Look, there's no point in making a big deal out of this. It, it was good, but it's over. It can't be. We've only just... It can't be. Well, I'll see you around. Mark, wait. Don't, no, don't. Don't even give him the satisfaction. He's just dumped me. Why has he done that? What's wrong with me? Why has he dumped me, Ollie? I don't know. I'm sorry. He's just an idiot. I'm sorry. I've completed the guest list for the party at home farm. Thanks, love. I'll take it away and check it. Check it? I'm organising the whole thing. I don't want any mistakes. She's got a point. She has not got a point. I know what I'm doing, and my work does not need checking by a... By a what, love? Do you mind not calling me love? You can call me love if you like. I think I'll be careful what I call you. So, what's on the agenda today, then, Lady Penelope? Right, see Marlon about the food, go to the printers, go to that place in Harrogate for the flowers and go to that place Rodney told us about to hire the glasses and crockery. So, not a lot then? Huh, we better make a start. Um, I'll take that. Oh, word of advice, V. If you ever want to get beyond secretary, you need to look at your attitude. Bye. Please. I'll see you later, V. <laughs> This is all because of my mum. Mum and Scott. Donna, you know you're thinking straight now. And Miss Mansfield. What was she doing telling Mark to dump me? Listen, the only bad thing that's come out of all this is that you didn't get in there first and dump him. But either way, you should well shot of him now. We were talking about both going to Houghton College together. And maybe university. I said to him the other day, I, I told him that we were meant to be together. Didn't I see you two here yesterday? Get lost. Donna. What did you say to Mark? OK, we need to find somewhere where we can have a quiet conversation. Did you tell him to dump me? Donna, I know you're upset. You did, didn't you? Who asked you to stick your nose in? OK, calm down and then we can talk about this. I'm not going to talk to you. Just stay out of my life, all right? We are closed, as in closed down. Right, Trisha's gone away. Business is slow. You feel like giving up, right? Almost, almost. Uh, Trisha's left me. Business is a disaster, and I have given up. What are you doing? Pour me a drink. You and I are going to have a little chat. Terry? Terry? Not running today. Oh, I know, I know. I'll get back in training soon. Um, how's Bernice? Oh, uh, coming along. Not so good, then, eh? It's a slow process, the healing. Ashley. I do worry about her a little. I know there's a period of bereavement she needs to go through, but at the moment it's hard to see any light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, well, it's tough. I mean, she's a tough lass. She'll pull through. I know she will. We had a good chat this morning. I'm sure she'll be on the mend soon. Absolutely. Mustn't stop. Let's see ya. Do you know, I used to really admire you when we were growing up. You never did. I did. Marlon, the dingle who didn't think with his fist, the one with a bit of nous and ambition. I used to get beat up all the time by Butch and Kane. I beat you up once, didn't I? No. Well, maybe. I'll let you win, cos I fancied you. <gasps> well, you never said you fancied me. Well, if you'd have told me that, who knows what could have happened? How do you mean? Well, I've always gone for brains over muscles, me. Which is why I don't like this sitting around sulking business. You're too clever for this, Marlon. Clever's got nothing to do with it. I, I ain't got anybody now. Nobody who's much bothered if I live or die. I've lost the knack of being alone. Marlon! 
Yeah, I go upstairs to our flat. We work so hard to get it. I go up there and it's like, it's just a set of empty rooms. I come down here and look around at this business that I've wanted all my life, all my life, and it don't mean anything. Phone goes and when it when it when it's not Trisha, it's, I can't I can't understand what the person's actually saying to me. I just put the phone down. Well, you could go on like this, I suppose. I'm the loneliest man there's ever been. I'm a failure, nobody loves me. You could go on like that indefinitely, or until you top yourself. Do you think I should pull myself together? Well, first of all, you're wrong, you're not alone. Loads of people care about you, Marlon, starting with me. And secondly, you might as well get your business back up on its feet so that if Trisha does come back, she's got something to come back to. And if she doesn't, well, I don't know, at least she'll be a man of means. Get my business back on its feet, that's easily said. Well, I've got a proposition for you to make some serious money, so are you going to listen? I, this is where you want me to go. <gasps> you're right, you're right! I'm going to forget Trisha and start again. No, I just want you to lose all that self-pity and listen to what I've got to say. One thing. What? I wanted to do that since I was about 12. <laughs> Thanks for making all this effort. No problem. <sighs> Hasn't worked, I'm still depressed. Mm -hmm. But I suppose if there's money to be made. Just can't forget them dingle jeans, can we? You're really nice, you. Did you really fancy me? Are we just saying that? I don't joke about stuff like that, Marlon. Now, are we ready to talk business? Oh, go on then. Hmm. <laughs> £2 a packet, 20 for singles and 3 for 50 This is a stupid idea. You'll get expelled for this. I've made nearly 20 quid to give to Dad. You're not helping. What, this is all for Dad? No. Of course it is. It's in the bills he's got. There must be better ways to help. Andy, hide those fags. What's going on? Uh, Miss Vansfield, I wanted to uh, ask you for some help with my science homework. Oh, did you? And would this sudden enthusiasm have anything to do with whatever's been going on behind your back? What? Nothing's been going on. Do I look stupid, Andy? No. But consider this a warning. I don't know what you've been doing, but if there's a next time, I won't be walking away. Understand? Yeah. Good. Thanks. It's very quiet in here. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. He broke up with Donna. When did this happen? This morning. Yeah, all right, Johnny. I'm out of the bus stop. Is she OK? I guess. Mark, you know I'm glad. I think it's for the best, but... Well, I hope you were gentle with her. She'll be all right. But think about how she must feel. I mean, you sleep with her once and then you drop her. It was only the once, wasn't it? Look, do you really want to know? No. It's over. I think that's all that matters. So why the long face? You'll soon get yourself a girlfriend your own age. <sighs> yeah, I hope so. Look, I've got to get to work. You're going to be OK? Of course, yeah. I'll see you later. See you. Are you going to be OK? <sighs> Shut it. Come on, you should be celebrating. Here's to the single life. Cheers. Afternoon. Hello. <laughs> That's a nice surprise. Thought I'd look in. I've had a hideous day and I could do with seeing a friendly face. Hello, right, what's been happening? Uh, one kid in a crisis telling me to get lost. Another conducting illicit deals in the playground. Nice. Worst ever to do with all day is a Pekingese with a thorn in its paw. What glamorous lives we lead. Speaking of which, what's going on with you and Emily? Nothing. I was helping her out, that's all. Now she's gone to stay at the Sugden, so no innuendos, please. Sorry. Innuendo-free zone. So how's your love life been? Had an encounter with a handsome young man last night. Really? Trouble was, it was horrible. Fancy a drink later. If you get me drunk, I might tell you the whole story. Yeah, all right then. Seven o'clock. See you then. All right, love. Not back to the silent treatment again. Oh, Donna. What's wrong? Mark's chucked me. Oh, love, I am sorry. A little toe rag. Do you mean you're sorry? I thought you'd be pleased. Well, yes, I am, really, but... How dare 
he chuck you? What's he thinking? My daughter's not good enough for him. I'm going to see him. No, you're not, young lady. He just came up to me at the bus stop. Said it was over in front of Ollie and Andy and Robert. And then just walked away like nothing had happened. I'm worth more than that. Yes, you are. But that doesn't mean you should go running after him. You've always taught me to stand up for myself. Yes. And that's what I'm doing. I saw Terry when I was out. He sends his best wishes. What did you tell him? Just that you're not uh, fully recovered. People are concerned, Bernice. It's only natural. I don't want their concern. I'm not an invalid. No. It's a difficult time, isn't it? A sort of limbo. You're not an invalid, and yet you're still finding it difficult to face the world. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure other women don't react so badly. Other women aren't important. Would you like to come to church with me this evening? No, thank you. It might be a good opportunity to get out of the house. I don't want to go to work and I don't want to go to church. I can't bear the idea of being on show, of people looking at me and asking me in kind voices if I'm all right. I can see that, I do, but... I feel so useless. I want to help you get through this. Yes, I know you do. And it helps me to know that you're there when I need you. If you need me. Please, Ashley, just go ahead. Sure. See you later. <laughs> I mean, 15. I'm thinking she's in love with you. I mean, you know. She's not worth the trouble. Well, you wait till you get to college, you'll see what I mean. She's talking to me like I'm stupid. Well, being with Donna, I wasn't exactly bright. You don't know half as much as you think you do, you know. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I had a long chat with Bev Mansfield last night at her place. Had a couple of beers, talked about all kinds of stuff. Well, like what? Well, Donna at first, saying how she was too young for me, how she should go for someone a little bit older. Well, that's what I said. Then she started talking about how when she was a teenager, how it was all wild parties and stuff. <laughs> see, she wasn't like a teacher, she was more like a mate. I think I see where this is going. You see, being with Bev was so much different to being with Donna. Being with her? Are you holding something back? <laughs> you are, aren't you? You've got such a dirty mind. Well, first she tells you to chuck Donna, and then she tells you to go for someone a bit older. And then you and her didn't, did you? You weren't Miss Mansfield, seriously. <laughs> I have to say I'm impressed, Mark. Nice one. Well, that was a pretty good day's work. You can be pretty focused when you set your mind to it. Yeah, well, this party's going to be a success. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you a drink. I don't think so. Why not? What if Chris is there? Well, what if he is? Well, it's not going to look that good with you and I having a drink together after work. I don't follow you. Well, he thought I was sleeping with you. Oh, he's just paranoid. No, he came right out and accused me. Well, then all the more reason to go in there together. Why? Because if we act like we've got something to hide, he'll just get more suspicious, won't he? Come on. Uh, no, it's silly taking risks with somebody like Chris. You see, that's the difference between you and me. I reckon it's only fun taking risks when it involves someone like Chris. <laughs> you come in. Are you going to tell him where you got it from? Well, if we tell him that, he won't take it, will he? Well, we can find another way to help. Well, until you find something else, I'm going to carry on doing this. You're not going to tell him where we got it from, are you? You all right, lads? Get the dinner on. What's that? It's 20 quid, almost. Where'd he come from? Well, me and Rob saved up the pocket money Cathy gave us while he was in prison. Didn't we, Rob? Yeah, we saved it up. Yeah, we want you to have it for the bills. The bills? Right. I know it's serious and this isn't all that much, but I thought, well, we thought that it might help. No, you don't have to do this. I don't want it. Are the bill's paid? Um, the bill's are uh, not all paid, no. Then please take this. It might help. Thanks. You know, you two, you're the best sons a man could have. You make me proud, both of you. 
So you're doing the food at the big party, then? Mm, thanks to charity. We have what you might call a special relationship. So you're slamming it, Terry? No need for that, Viv. Do you want to join us for a drink? I'd rather drink alone, thanks. Actually, Viv, I, I don't think charity was being serious. What do you keep staring at her for? Was it? Sorry. She really gets on your nerves, doesn't she? Oh, charity doesn't bother me. If you could say that with a grit in your teeth, I might believe you. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Oh, wait to service, eh? Surely those pants aren't both for you, Paddy. Well, if you're nice to him, he might let you share. I sit here, you can have that one. Very kind. Donna! What's this I heard about you and the handsome young man? Mm. Sounds like I've arrived just in time. Yes. Donna! Go on. Tell him what happened between you and Mark last night. What's going on? Tell us, Miss Mansfield, or can I call you Bev? Donna, why don't we go back to my house and talk about this sensibly? What? Don't you want people to hear about how you made Mark dump me? About how you said I was just a kid and he needed an older woman? Donna, I didn't say those things. You're an older woman, aren't you? Donna. What does she mean? This is ridiculous. She had sex with Mark Reynolds. I heard him say so. It, this is completely untrue. She's lying. Paddy? First you made him dump me, then you had sex with him. You've ruined my life! Donna! 